Hello everybody and welcome back to Hot Cover TV. Today we have another Jurassic World Evolution video for you all. In this video we will be going over bioengineering dinosaurs genetically modifying their genes and um, through the two different traits and that is um, the way that they appear, so their appearance and their actual traits so you know the the type of skills they have and you know like the, the attributes that the dinosaurs have themselves we will be showing you actual gameplay we will be talking about bioengineering of dinosaurs and we will be talking about hybrid dinosaurs and it is some exciting news because um well an exciting piece of information that i wanted to share with you all because i thought it was really interesting and that is in this picture rather um we have either the gallimimus or the struthiomimus i'm not too sure which one out of the two of those this is. However, you, if you look at that dinosaur skin, you can actually see that it has been genetically changed. It has been genetically modified. Um, as you can see, the one on the right is actually the regular, the regular, um, let's just call it, uh, <sighs> let's just call it a Struthiomimus. I think it's a Struthiomimus. The one on the right is the regular Struthiomimus, and the one on the left has been genetically modified. And this was tweeted out uh, by Jurassic World Evolution, uh, the official Twitter, uh, this image. And it said, um, you can bioengineer your dinosaurs um, to be different, you know, to have different cosmetic traits. As you can see by its neck, its skin, it's a different color. It has clearly been genetically modified. And this has been given different cosmetic traits or different visual traits. It looks visually different, and the dinosaur appears uh, as like half di half like dinosaur, original dinosaur, and half some other animal's genes in it. So, <laughs> maybe whether that's um, like it could be anything. It could be an ostrich, right? Ostrich DNA. It could be the DNA of any type, different types of dinosaurs. Now look at this gameplay. We have clips of this. Uh, of, this is the gameplay we have so far, and it is showing in our dinosaur d genetic research laboratory that there are two different types of genetics. There is the cod uh, of genes. Sorry, there is the cosmetic genes here on the left hand side, and then there are the trait genes on the right. Those are the two main things. Obviously. Uh, Applying all of the trait genes to the dinosaurs will improve their defense, their attack, their um, speed, things like that. Uh, and applying the cosmetic genes, the ones on the left, will increase the dinosaur's kind of appearance. How do you unlock them? Well, here, as you can see from Isaac Clement, there is um, a mission which you've completed and you gain, you know, cash reward and you gain, a seem to gain a, a trait. So in this case, uh, you gain the Steppy cosmetic trait and uh, as you can see here, it unlocks within the cosmetic traits and then you can use it. So you, and then you can apply it to dinosaurs. So, oh my God, this is actually amazing. Because So as soon as I do my Let's Play, I am going to... <laughs> Uh, I'd do as many missions as I possibly can to unlock as many traits and then I can make the craziest wildest dinosaurs uh, humanly possible so um, and that's pretty much the gameplay with how we have of it and then here as you can see you can see um, this is uh, uh, more gameplay of when you apply those traits to the dinosaurs and you can see on the right hand side there that their um, statistics go up and down according to what traits you give them so you know you have to be careful because certain traits uh, reduce some of their stats and certain traits increase some of their stats and of course the incubation cost of each dinosaur uh, you know the more stats you're giving it and changing uh, the more money it is going to cost you in your park and remember you're on a budget guys the whole of this um, <clears throat> game you know you're always on a budget so you have to keep in mind your money at all times. So yeah, that's basically the information we've got on it so far, guys. It will be much better and more interesting to actually put it into um, practice, you, you know, in the actual game. And we will be able to test it out and make our own dinosaurs and bioengineer um, kind of other dinosaurs and stuff like that. So it will be really interesting to see what we can come up with. And it will be interesting to see whether we can create hybrid dinosaurs because although we can put different animals DNA into the dinosaurs can we splice two different dinosaurs together and make like an actual crossbreed just like the Indoraptor or the Indominus Rex so let me know uh, your guys's thoughts and how you're gonna go about this on your game I know that as soon as I get the as soon as I start the let's play I am going to do as many missions as humanly possible so we can unlock more uh, genetic stats and just make crazy dinosaurs so it's gonna be amazing um, I really want to make like the most overpowered velociraptor 
Uh, and imagine even a Brachiosaurus with like the, the traits, all the traits on the Brachiosaurus maxed out and a different color skin. Oh my God, imagine that. A Brachiosaurus with a different color skin. So um, my ideas and imagination is going wild now, guys. I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. We are going to be able to live out our dinosaur fantasies, <laughs> quite literally. So thank you all anyway very much for watching everybody. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel Hot Cuppa TV for more Jurassic World Evolution videos every single day. And sometimes even two on one day. And uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed and we will see you guys in the next video.